Yo, Excellency, a uh, very good luck, Deputy Governor. We have service, uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, uh, my colleague in council right here, special advisors, top government functionaries, and my very good friends in the media. I want to welcome you all this morning. Oh, it's afternoon already. Let me formally welcome you all to today's transparency briefing. First, even before I say anything, I want to thank His Excellency, who is the Chairman of the Central Committee of the Reforms. His Excellency, I'm so glad to report to you that yesterday we concluded the town hall meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There's a whole lot we, we have to give thanks to Almighty God for his support. I mean, going around our state and seeing the support and encouragement that we got from my Elsons, particularly to our colleagues in the media. Let me say a big thank you to all of you. But we're not here for reforms today. We're here, well, this is a part of reforms, if you ask me. We're here for the monthly ritual of the transparency briefing. Um, ABRD was right. What has turned out to be a monthly ritual as dangerous athletes all over the country. My Elsa today is well known for uh, what we have been doing in the last six years plus. You know, uh, rendering accounts of what comes in and what goes out on a monthly basis. And we are the only state in Nigeria that is doing that at the moment. And these are really end of our words accolades from all over. And I believe very strongly that as a government we will have to sustain this. Already it is the law, and we believe very strongly that even after this government, uh, not made after us will follow suit. We owe it to our people to render accounts. Governments everywhere should render accounts. It is the right thing to do. You all know that as members of the fourth estate of the realm, you hold government accountable. But in Bayelsa, we render accounts to you and through you to Bayelsans. And we have been doing that consistently for the past six years plus. And on a day like this, I think it's a big part of the back of the Bayelsa state government, maybe led by His Excellency Honorable Henry Sereke Dixon, that he has kept faith with this. It has become law, it has become a model. Uh, that all the states are copying, and so by that side leading the way. We are now a model for excellence all over this country. People are looking up to Bayelsa by virtue of what we are doing, and I dare say that every Bayelsa, every one of us, should stand tall, lift our heads up and our shoulders wide and broad, and be grateful that we have the right kind of leadership showing the way and making every one of us proud. So today, we're here gathered again um, for another monthly transparency briefing. And I'm very, very sure at the end of today, today's exercise, by Elsans, every one of us here will be duly, duly, duly satisfied with the results that we gave you today. I want to encourage us to stay back and as we listen, and also to thank His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, who has become, by the way, uh, Chief Accountant, and uh, he's doing this job so well. I don't know how you do it, sir. You're not very used to the figures now. <laughs> Better than Sifu. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for the next job. <laughs> it's another that I want to say thank you and welcome you all to today's transparency briefing. God bless you. Secretary to the Government of the State and other members of the State Executive Council, Special Advisors, Top government functionaries. Oh, Prof, you are here. Yes, sir. Nice to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The President's suggestion. First, I want to thank the Commissioner for Information for the initiative and in going down to disseminate relevant information by persons, particularly concerning the ongoing trans reforms in the public service.
presenting the opportunity for those who are not around Yanagawa, particularly in the rural areas, to have first hand information on what government is doing. Uh, it's not easy, it's for the marathon. And we are happy that tragedy was averted yesterday and there was an accident. You know, water is a very, very dangerous entity. Uh, in our waters, a log floating which is not up to the surface and damage your boats. The second, and uh, when the speaker uh, phoned me yesterday on his return, and what happened, I felt very concerned. The good thing is that uh, lives are not lost, that boat can only be replaced. So we thank God for that. Uh, for today, as we've always done, I'm going to give the income and expenditure report as at the 31st of May 2018. Like the Commissioner has said, this is one of the high watermarks of government performance and commitment to this state. I remember one leader telling us when we told him that uh, this is what is done in the state, he said, oh, it's not possible. That when he was a governor, it was only himself and the accountant, not even commission. Once the accountant general and himself enter the room and they come out, the deal is done, they finished. Now you are coming to tell your state how much you are earning. That is very strange. It requires someone with so much courage and commitment uh, to be able to set it this way. And our prayer is that whoever succeeds us should continue in the same spirit. Now, the inflows. First, started to allocation 3 billion. Two hundred and seventy million one hundred and ninety thousand nine hundred and twenty seven naira seventy seven cup. Derivation nine billion eight hundred and eighty four million. Two hundred and forty thousand five hundred and fifty three naira sixty one cover fax eight hundred and thirty seven million nine hundred and sixty two thousand one hundred and thirty two naira thirty seven cover Stabilization April 2018, 327,906,270 Naira 69 cover, excess bank charges 2,600,000 and 11,576 Naira, 93 cover, reform from other states, 57 million, 532,352 Naira, 43 cover. Therefore, the gross inflow from FAC stood at 14,308,000 843,813 Naira 80 cover. That was the gross inflow from FAC. Now, first line deductions and fact, first the bond deduction 
421 million 546,663 naira 22 cover. Foreign loans recovery from states 29 million 964,760 naira 70 cover. Restructured we restructured refund of overpayment of revised 13 percent revision indices is the ninth of 120 installment 128 million three hundred and sixty eight thousand nine hundred and fifty naira forty seven dollar this is again reform in respect of the Kenga oil field uh, like we've always said money that was wrongly paid by our states between two thousand and three and two thousand eleven reformed now that are the three million four thousand two hundred and thirty four naira seventeen cover commercial agricultural credit scheme reforms seventy nine million four hundred and fifty seven thousand four hundred and twenty four naira 93 cover that was scheme one that was also another one scheme two commercial agricultural credit scheme two 66 million six hundred and sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty six naira sixty six cover <laughs> salary bill out to local government areas 11 million, 16 million, sorry, 279,000, 10 naira, 57 cover. Excess school account loan facility to the states, 126 million, 675,000, 773 naira. 75 cover restructured commercial bank loans 741 million 156,852 naira 48 cover there were total first line deductions stood at 1 billion Six hundred and forty three million one hundred and twenty thousand three hundred and thirty six naira ninety five cover. The net inflow from FAP, therefore, was twelve billion seven hundred and thirty seven million. 323,476 Naira 85 Double IGR receipt for April 2018 stood at 590,900,000 Naira 32,554 Naira reform from local government bailout 16 million 279,000 10 Naira 
57 cup. Just a note, you will note here that the IGR figure was a bit short of the average that we have been reporting. This was because by the time salaries were paid and the IGR for PE was ready, it has gone beyond the 31st. So that PE component will be added to next month's IGR. That is why you see this deep in the fund. But therefore, total fund available was 13 billion 344 million 535,000 41 naira 70 cup. Now to the outflow. First, bank loans stroke contractual agreement of guarantees. One billion. 788 million 131 naira 6 cover salaries civil servants made 2018 Two billion eight hundred and ninety one million three hundred and twenty seven thousand three hundred and twenty three naira twenty four cover salaries political appointees. 315 million 220,000 113 naira 50 cover salary grants to tertiary institutions 630 million Salary payment to disengaged staff on tertiary institutions, 313 million, 514,523 naira, 53 cover, 10% contribution to primary school teachers salary 46 million naira 40 cover provision for cost of IGR collection 75 million 856,654 Naira 71 cover CO2 provision 79,969,500 36 Naira 19 cover. Total payment there was 6 billion 141 million 19,738 Naira 
67, 63, cover. Their amount remain before capital and recurring payments was seven billion two hundred and three million five hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred and three naira seven cover. Then it comes to the issue of capital payments and recurrent payments for May 2018. First, the current payment for May 2018, 2,652,900,000. Four hundred and eighty-eight naira twenty-eight cover capital payment for May twenty eighteen four billion eight hundred and fifty-five million six hundred and sixty-two thousand. Four hundred and fourteen naira seventeen cover. Now balance after the current and capital expenditure therefore went on the negative and that stood at three hundred and five million seventy four thousand five hundred and ninety nine naira thirty eight cover negative to that time. But the balance brought forward from April twenty eighteen. Uh, which stood at seven billion six hundred and fifty three million one hundred and forty two thousand six hundred and twenty three naira seven cup. Therefore, balance carried forward. At the end of May 31st was seven billion three hundred and forty eight million sixty eight thousand twenty three naira sixty nine. That for the statement expenditure income profile for the months of May and as recorded so the 31st of May 2018. Thank you very much for listening. For you, I report for the nation. Uh, Your Excellency, as uh, you were reading out the figures, you talked about salaries to disengaged uh, staff of tertiary institutions. We would like to find out, this payment, is it uh, part of the ongoing uh, uh, public sector reform? How many of these uh, workers were relieved? Uh, how many of them got uh, these salaries? We want to find out. My name is Patrick Lubisi, I'm part of the RFM. Um, I'm seeing a new terminology, I stand corrected, but so far I've been following the transparency. The stabilization for April, that we have uh, 3.9 million 
the amount for it. Please, we we'll just need clarification for that figure. Thank you. Right for Disney newspapers. Um, why you were giving account of uh, uh, the inflows and outflows from May? You mentioned salary bailout, I think for local government, 16.2 million approximately. Uh, at the point, the government told us they had handed off uh, you know, uh, the payments, I mean, uh, for bailout uh, for uh, local governments. Uh, I don't know where this is uh, coming from. And uh, also, there is uh, the 600 or something million for uh, uh, grants to uh, teacher institutions. And in fact, before uh, the state government handed, told us that they were you know, reforming those tertiary institutions, I think the government was paying less, I think about 500 million. Now it has gone up to 600 or something million. I don't know if, if I'm uh, wrong there also, but I need some clarification. The grants that we give to the tertiary institution uh, should not be confused with salaries that are being paid to ND. Uh, there are uh, five tertiary institutions that are involved. We came NDU near the 500. We started going down after some of the verifications. So this amount you are seeing is for NDU in West Africa, the Isaburo Teacher Training the College of Education, the College of Health Technology and School of Nursing, all combined, is not only for one establishment. Now bailouts, the, the federal government gives some bailouts to local government areas. The state government stood as the guarantor. So every month, the arrangement is that first line, Federal government will take from us, the state. And the money, since the money was not given to us, and we also take it from local government. That's why you see it appear in two places. Uh, we pay, if somebody take from us, we also take from somebody, and it must be accounted for. That's why it's appearing in the two places. The stabilization fund, there is a stabilization fund at the national level. When they feel that things are going wrong to states, they actually inject that money and divide it according to the indices for the various states. And for this particular, uh, there are times they don't give. And when they go for fact meeting, these are the issues they resolve. Uh, every person argues that money should come out. And uh, this particular month, uh, this is what came out to stabilize the system. They, they always have where they can draw some money when they feel that allocation is getting low or some states are complaining. That's why you have this application fund. Now, salaries to disengage staff. Salaries to disengage staff. Yeah, you know, NDU, not only NDU, all the tertiary institutions where the policy rationalized the staffing system according to best practices. A particular number of staff are affected. In the civil service system, if there is something like redundancy being declared, the law says, the rule says you are paid one month in lieu of notice, or you are given three months notice no extra money for you, you go and apply for gratuity and pension. In the tertiary institution, uh, we saw that their conditions were a bit different from the public service regulations, where you must pay the person three months start in lieu of notice. And that was negotiated with them, discussed, and the entire money was paid to all those that were disengaged. That's why you are seeing this money. And that, that's the last one. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Justice, for talking to us. Excellency.